Welcome to The Inner Entrepreneur. I'm Paul Ryan. And in today's mini pod, I want to talk to you about the power of self-talk. Now, the science tells us that 96% of us engage in self-talk. But we all know that to be true. Because from the moment you get up in the morning, your mind is talking away to you. So whether you're actually speaking out loud to yourself, having a conversation with yourself, or whether it's just going through your mind, we talk to ourselves all day long. So that's completely normal. The question is, what are you saying to yourself? And what impact is that having? See, our words and thoughts are really powerful, not because they have some magic influence on reality, but because what we think and what we say to ourselves impacts how we feel. And how we feel impacts how we act and our behavior and what we do, our actions impact the results that show up in our life. So what you think and feel is actually creating your life because it's driving your life and it's driving how you behave. So I had a conversation recently with a pal of mine about this and he said to me, I don't buy all that positive thinking bullshit. Now his son Mike is about 12 and is a real football enthusiast and plays in the local football team. So I said, doesn't Mikey have a big football match like a quarter final or something coming up uh, next Sunday? So I know you'll drive into that match and it's about 20 minute drive from your front door to the pitch and he has his kit on and he has his football boots on and you're both looking forward to the match. I want you to say, Mikey, I'm really disappointed in you. I mean, you're a terrible football player and I know you think you can play football and I know you love it. Come on, you're just a rubbish football player. You're a useless kid. And the team would be better off about you. I don't know why I'm driving you to this match. Because you're going to lose. And honestly, when you get on that pitch, you're an embarrassment to me and your mother. There was no way he was saying that to his son. And it would be crazy to. Nobody would. In fact, he's most likely to spend that journey in positive conversation with his son. Encouraging him. Telling him he's a good football player. Reminding him of all the victories they've had to get him to the semi-final. And reminding him of how he's contributed to that. And really encouraging to give it his all. You see, you might say on the surface that you don't believe in positive self-talk or positive thinking. But the reality is, you know damn well that in a situation like that, when you're speaking with someone you love, you will not feed them negativity. Because you know it will be harmful. You know it will affect how they think, how they feel, and that will affect their behavior. You fill a kid with negativity for 20 minutes. What are the odds when he gets onto that pitch, he is not going to have the confidence to kick the ball and to engage fully in the game? You see, none of us would speak to young Mikey like that. We just wouldn't. We'd encourage him. But the question is, how are you speaking to yourself? So growing up, did you have a parent, a friend or a mentor, an aunt, maybe a school teacher, someone who really looked out for you? and really encouraged you and when you were feeling down they picked you up and they reminded you of all the positive things you could do all the great things you were capable of sometimes people achieve great things in their life and they will go back to the encouragement from a teacher or a parent or a coach and yet even though we know that we all thrive on this positive feedback from the moment we wake up in the morning we tend to give ourselves negative feedback we criticize ourselves We blame ourselves. We talk about the things we haven't done, can't do, won't do, aren't good enough to do. Now picture yourself as that child in the back of the car because that's exactly what it's like. You're feeding yourself with negativity all day long and it's just harmful. Now, of course, what you really want to do is shift that to positive self-talk. So the keys to shifting from negative self-talk to positive self-talk are these. First is awareness. I want you to start becoming aware of just how you're speaking to yourself and always use that example of Mikey in the back of the car, of the small child or maybe one of your own children or maybe somebody you love. When you're speaking to yourself, ask yourself, would I speak to someone I wanted to encourage, to inspire, to do well in life? Would I speak to them this way? And if you wouldn't speak to a small child this way, then stop it. If someone you love very much and want welfare calls you up and tells you they've just visited with their doctor and the doctor says they have some health issues and they really need to get fit, they need to lose some weight and they need to clean up their diet because if they don't, it's going to have some serious health ramifications. You don't want to criticize the person for being in that situation 
that would be negative and it wouldn't be helpful. But you also don't want to deny the reality of the fact that maybe this person is carrying too much weight, is not exercising and is eating crap. So positivity doesn't mean you deny the facts. It just means you approach them as a way a mentor or a coach would and so you help them create a plan. But you approach it positively. You wouldn't criticize them. So you want to be aware of when you're talking negatively to yourself, which doesn't mean you don't tell yourself the truth. It just means you speak to yourself like you were a coach or you were a mentor or you were a very close friend. You speak to yourself with love and care. Do you remember being in school and you probably had a great friend who always stood by you and supported you? And there probably also was the classroom bully as well. Well, inside your mind, you have the classroom bully and you have the great friend. Lean towards being the great friend and observe when you're being the classroom bully to yourself and cut it out. And the last tip is to make this in a habit. Rome wasn't built in the day. Nothing is learned in the day. You are rewiring your brain. You're retraining your brain to recognize the influence of negative self-talk and to change that to positive self-talk, to encouragement, to loving self-talk. But you have to realize you're building a new habit. So be patient and be persistent and make this a daily habit. Thank you for listening. I hope you found some value. If you love this podcast, please do share, like, comment, and tell all your friends about it. It will really help the show to grow. Until next time, take care.